There are plenty of iconic superhero teams across Marvel and DC Comics, and each team began with a particular roster of characters who are generally referred to as the founding members. In most cases, the original team roster is considered as one of the most beloved and iconic rosters in the history of the respective superhero teams. But there is also a curious phenomenon that can be observed among certain superhero teams with respect to their founding members. There are certain characters that are considered as founding members of the teams and are usually considered as part of the original team roster even though they join the team sometime after its formation. In this video, I want to highlight four such characters who are not present for the formation of their teams but became so integral to their teams that they are widely considered as founding members and as part of the original roster within the universes and in the real world as well. This video is not to say that these characters are not as important as founding members or should not be considered as founding members. I believe all these characters deserve their status as founding members even if they were not there from the start. All these characters are integral to their teams and in certain cases they have even ended up leading their respective teams on multiple occasions. I think of these characters as the missing pieces that completed the original rosters and made them whole because I cannot imagine not considering these characters as original team members even if they weren't around at the beginning. This is simply a phenomenon that I found quite interesting and I wanted to talk about it. The first and most famous example would have to be Steve Rogers aka Captain America. Steve is widely known as an integral member of the Avengers and their best leader and has been associated with the Avengers ever since he woke up from being trapped in ice. But in the comics, he was not there for the formation of the Avengers. The Avengers team made their debut in Avengers issue 1 and came out in 1963 and the Avengers were formed with the roster of Thor, Iron Man, Wasp, Ant-Man and the Hulk. And it was not until Avengers issue 4 in 1964 that Captain America was found by the Avengers and he decided to join the team. But despite that, Captain America is usually considered as a founding member of the Avengers and as part of the original team roster partly because of how quickly his addition happened and because he ended up running the Avengers soon after when many of the other original members stepped aside for different reasons. I don't believe anybody would argue against referring to Cap as an original Avengers member and it honestly feels silly to even entertain that notion even if he is technically not. The Young Justice team began with Tim Drake aka Robin, Bart Allen aka Impulse and Connor Kent aka Superboy and they debuted as a team in the Young Justice Secret one-shot in 1998. After the formation of the team, they began working together more often and because of the positive response, DC decided to give Young Justice their own ongoing series. Just like Captain America, Cassie Sandsmark aka Wonder Girl joined the Young Justice team in Young Justice issue 4 in 1999. In the same issue, the team also gained new members like Arrowhead and Secret. Writers at DC were able to elevate Cassie into an important member of the team and the dynamic quickly became a quartet instead of the trio it had been at the beginning and despite the presence of additional characters as well. Their friendship and the term Young Justice Core 4 quickly became popular and Cassie became as synonymous with the Young Justice team as much as the three boys. Writers and fans recognized that and over the years, irrespective of whether the team operated as Young Justice or Teen Titans, Cassie was always there in a pivotal role and the dynamic between the four were always present in a prominent manner in their team stories. Today, Cassie Sansmark is generally considered as a founding member and part of the original Young Justice team, despite not being there at the inception of the team and the presence of other characters who joined alongside. Teen Titans officially formed in the Brave and the Bold issue 60 in 1965 with a team roster consisting of Dick Grayson aka Robin, Donald Troy aka Wonder Girl, Wally West aka Kid Flash and Garth aka Aqualad. The positive response to the team helped give them their own ongoing Teen Titans series. Roy Harper aka Speedy first made a guest appearance in their series in the fourth issue wanting to join the team. I don't know what it is with fourth issues and new vital characters joining the superhero teams but it's a pretty cool phenomenon if you ask me. But unlike the others, PT did not officially become a part of the team in issue 4. After a few more guest appearances, Speedy finally officially joined the Teen Titans in issue 19 in 1969. Despite his late addition, Roy Harper is always considered as part of the original Teen Titans 
and as a founding member of the team within the DC Universe and among writers and fans as well. The team is commonly referred to as the Fab Five Teen Titans which serves as an example of Roy's status as an original team member. Several future origin stories for the Teen Titans have simply added Roy to the origin stories instead of delaying his addition but at the moment and considering the recent World's Finest Teen Titans series, the original origin story of Roy Harper being a late addition is firmly canon even though his status as a founding member remains intact. Wolverine famously became an Avenger in the iconic 2005 New Avengers series that shook up the Avengers mythos and the Marvel Universe as a whole. While Logan is considered as a founding member of the Avengers and an iconic original member of the team, he did not show up in the series until, yep, you guessed it, issue 4. He teamed up with the New Avengers when they showed up in the Savage Land and did not officially join the New Avengers team until the 6th issue. Logan would eventually go on to stay with the New Avengers across several different roster changes and series reboots and formed a great dynamic with all of the other members, causing people to fondly remember him as a founding member of the New Avengers, despite his late appearance in the series. All these characters joined their teams after it formed but are generally considered as founding members as they should be. As I made it clear, I absolutely consider all of these characters as founding members and they deserve that status. They all added something extra and unique to their respective teams and the teams only felt complete after their additions. Even today, most of these characters stand by their respective teams doing what they do best. I just thought this would be an interesting thing to look at and I wanted to talk a little bit about it and I hope you found it interesting as well. Maybe you thought one of these characters were present at the beginning considering their public perception and are now surprised to find out that they were not. Anyways, if you know of any other characters who also fit this criteria, let me know down in the comments and thanks for watching.